take a while to stumble. No, we don't have time to stumble. So. Like either A frames or layouts or something like that. Yeah. Don't think there's anything more. What up guys welcome back to another one uh so we're late to the field um not really late it's right at six o'clock in the evening uh every night we've scouted birds haven't flown till literally after 6 45 so got here at six trying to find a spot to sit the first birds to the field literally just landed they landed over there we haven't known where we wanted to sit they just told us where we needed to sit. So we are uh, debating on where to sit right now, but uh, big shout out, we are with Dirty Bird Outfitters uh, and Dive Bomb Decoys out here. Big shout out to them getting me out here. You all know the drill. This is the third upload. Hope you guys have liked it. It's been a bunch of fun, but this is our last hunt for the trip. <sighs> Little bit of behind the scenes action here though. Watch old Costas work. I'm ready. Or we can wait a second. So the problem is, is uh, we got a lot of hills we're dealing with, and uh, the only hides that are offered here are down by the water's edge where the reeds are, and then behind us over here where the corn is. But as you can see, the hill dips down. The hill dips down when it hits the edge of that corn. If we sit on the corn, we're gonna be secluded, and we're gonna be way far away from where the geese already wanna be. It really is a tough call because uh, if you want to use A-frames or panel blinds and something tall, you got to get down in, in the valley. And they don't want to land down in the pit of the hills, you know what I mean? They want to be on top of a hill. And this is fresh cut wheat. Check it out. I mean, literally, it was cut yesterday. The birds literally found this field this morning, pretty much. But real quick, check out that brand new hat. August 24th, yes, all the new hats went up on the Ducks Waterfowl site. Yeah, buddy. Y'all know when you purchase something from Ducks, it goes directly to helping your boy bring y'all more of these waterfowl hunting videos. We going, we going, we going. So if you guys want to pick up one of these new hats, be sure to go down in the description below. I'll, uh, I'll put the link down there. I think we got a plan. Well, we are here. This is uh, the spot that we have chosen. So we're gonna lay against that uh, tall grass, a little bit of reed action, cattail action. We got a little bit of ditch, a little bit of indentation right here where it slopes down. Uh, so we're gonna have to run decoys way up the hill to make sure they're visible so the birds will be able to see them. That's key. We're gonna have to call our yin yangs off today. Get them to see us. Block of 20. We late, boys. Oh, the trees was watch we're watching the geese roll along. Well, here we are. This is the hide. Uh, we're standing in the reeds. We opted to uh, not use a panel blind, not use any, any layout blinds, uh, and just stand in the reeds. So, natural little, little honker hunt. Let me show you the spread real quick because it is a true honker spread. Check this out. Don't be filming me, Nick. Be filming me vlogging, okay? He's trying to get me. I know what you're up to. Check it out, honker, spread McGee, let me tell you. Nick put uh, decoys all the way at the top of the hill. All the way. So we have family groups just rolling down the hill. Okay, wind coming this way. Birds should be coming in right here, just like this, boys. So it's basically a side shoot, a little bit. Not like a heavy side shoot, you know? So, honkers, we got uh, we got 15 dozen out. Looking great. Spread them out. Family groups, family groups, family groups. Honker, uh, honker hunting is different. You want the family groups. It's like this little guy here. Looking beautiful though, I'm loving it. See how we have big holes? Big hole, hole. Hole. Looks good. 
uh, all we can do is hope for the best, honestly. Um, there's roughly about 150 birds here. Uh, each of these, every single one of these hunts, have, we have not found a feed over 300. So you're talking small, small feeds, but we've been doing good. This morning we got our butts handed to us. Wasn't anybody's fault at all. The birds just didn't want to come back to the peas. So last hunt in North Dakota, going to try to make it a good one. You found this field, Nicholas. What do you think? I'm going to try. Could have been a lot more birds in here. There could have been, but... There's a lot of topography out. <laughs> here we go, boys. Here they come. Five pack on the way, it sounds like. <laughs> well, they kept on a rolling. That was a... That was a good old pair of singles there. They ain't gonna land over there. The Another group on the way. 12 pack. Let's see if we can make them work. Got him turning for the uh, second time. <laughs> Well, we down two. Yeah. We had to shoot them. I was just they bailing. Yeah, they they uh we had to turn them twice. But uh that was just a three pack. That wasn't the big group. There's another ten pack in front of us. Down two though. Well, Matt wants to open up the kill hole a little bit. We're gonna pull these family groups out and give them some more room in here. You want to pick up this whole line here? Yeah, pick, pick up this whole line. A little less decoys out in front of them. Give them a little more. Right on. A little more on the runway. Seem like they didn't like to catch the crop. Right. So we're going to move the decoys back in the body of the spread. Basically give them more of an open lane to feel comfy. So hopefully it works. This is all we've used all three days dive bomb silos the v2fs they have done great we've had good luck two awesome hunts trying to make it three baby two down though already better than this morning there we go so now we got a bigger kill hole like i said it's a side win for where we're shooting so uh that was a close shot because they ended up going behind us to this water so, do what you can. Kill what you can, boys. Shoot them. Ah, oh, they circled three times again. These birds just want to look and look. What do you think? I thought they were done. That single. I thought that they were done. That one when he bowed out in that last pass. Yeah. We're gonna kill him. Yeah. No. I was waiting for you to be brave and call him at 45 yards. I was gonna tell you if you think you can. <laughs> I was hoping they were going to keep coming. You think they can eat? <laughs> Just let it eat, boys. Well, that's about all she wrote. 
for today's hunt and for the entire North Dakota trip. I'm not going to cut the video off here though. We're going to keep it rolling. Like I've been telling y'all, uh, taking the Sherp home. The Sherp, the three quarter ton Duramax. Oh yeah, taking the whole thing home. So we're going to keep the video going and uh, we're going to make the trip home together. We're going to surprise the kids with the Sherp. They actually know I'm bringing it home, but they are so excited. They are not going to know what to do when they see this thing. Two birds. Uh, yeah, only two, right? The first two days of the trip, uh, we absolutely crushed them. Today, the third day has just been a struggle. Um, this morning, we hunted a pea field and all the birds went south instead of north, pretty much. Tonight, shot two, probably 25 came, so do what you can. Well, we are back home. Uh, I'm sorry I had to drop the video like I did. It is what it is, guys. We shot two birds. Uh, you seen how many came? They didn't like it. They circled on us and they circled on us and they circled on us. Uh, seemed like it didn't matter if they were a group of two or a group of five. Uh, by the second time they were done circling, they were gonna be done. They weren't liking it pretty much, you know what I mean? So I decided just to drop the video and pick it up back here at home. It's actually a few days later. Uh, I've been taking a bunch of friends for rides in the Sherp. If you haven't followed me on Instagram right here, you probably do so because I've been putting up all types of awesome clips of the Sherp just getting down in the mud. But we're headed to go pick up the Sherp now and uh, I'm gonna take it out to my duck lease and we're gonna do some maintenance out there. I have a bunch of, a ton of weeds that you guys seen on the last duck lease video that we did, what, a week or two ago? We're gonna use the old Sherp. We're gonna knock down all them weeds, all them dead weeds, open up some water. You know what I'm saying? I don't think we necessarily need to uh, take a mower out there or anything. You guys dropped a lot of good comments uh, on the last video saying, hey Bob, don't, don't go chopping down uh, all that cattail action and all that uh, duck food you got growing on the bank. And, and you guys are right. I just wanna kinda get rid of some weeds in the water. That's my main priority. Well, we are here to pick up the Sherp. Oh, Storm, shh, quiet girl. Hi, girl. It's just Bob. There's old Stormy girl, hi. Storm's actually gonna go to Canada with us, I'm pretty sure. So, a lot of you know who Wade is. That's where we are right now. Storm is Wade's little black girl. And um, we're doing a uh, best friend trip. We've I've always wanted to do it. A, a buddy trip up to Canada and that's what we're doing. We're actually going with 780 Outdoors. Uh, I met him on Instagram and uh, me and Wade are going to go up there. We're going to take Storm and have us a good old time. We're going up for my birthday. So uh, the end of September I'll be expecting the next big trip to be Alberta, Canada. And then we're going to travel down into Saskatoon and uh, hunt south of Saskatoon with my buddy Trevor Bennett. So a lot to come guys. Uh, stay tuned for the Sherp at the Duck Lease video. That's what I'm getting ready to go film now. I really, really, really hope you all enjoyed the North Dakota hunts. I had one heck of a time with all the boys from Dirty Bird, with uh, Nick from Dive Bomb. Big shout out to Dive Bomb for hooking it up with the Sherp, for hooking me up with the North Dakota hunts because without them it wouldn't have happened. Yeah, it's starting to rain on us here, but Honestly guys, the North Dakota trip was simply amazing. I thank you guys for all your continued support. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to go take that amazing trip. I wouldn't be able to be here with the Sherp and the rig. I hope you all are ready for the waterfowl season. It is pretty much here. September 1st kicks off Dove and it kicks off a lot of your guys' up north duck hunting. So. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. Be sure to check out all the new merch from Ducks Waterfowl. I will link all this down in the description below. We are also taking and accepting new Ducks Pro Staff opportunities. All you got to do is shoot an email to DucksProStaff at gmail.com and they will get back to you. But thank you guys for being here. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Lots of hunting to come this season. But we will see y'all on the next one. Peace! I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL, gotta